The two schools of thought are you either bring the samples up to the radiation in space or you bring the radiation from space down to Earth. And that's fundamentally what a particle accelerator does. The entire particle accelerator complex at Brookhaven National Laboratory serves as the input to the NASA Space Radiation Laboratory itself. With some terrific upgrades that took place along the, the lifespan of the NSRL facility itself, but especially in 2016 with the advent of the Galactic Cosmic Ray Simulator, um, it's now much easier and more practical and realistic to deliver a more space-like exposure, which involves changing those ion species and energies and dose rates on the fly, because that's the situation that happens in space. A heavier particle has the potential to cause more biological damage than a lighter particle, even at the exact same dose. Uh, analogy I can use is it's like the pound of feathers versus pound of lead argument. They're both a pound, but if I drop the pound of feathers on your foot, you might barely feel it. But if I drop the pound of lead on your foot, it might break a few toes. Goodness. For the same radiation dose, uh, what, what is the resulting biological outcome? Because different types of radiation have different relative abilities to cause damage and cause negative effects in living systems. The Brookhaven National Laboratory Particle Accelerator Complex and the NASA Space Radiation Laboratory, that's a, an offshoot of that, uh, is the only facility in the United States capable of delivering charged particle radiation species. The upgrades to the NASA Space Radiation Laboratory Complex as a whole are, are very important to try to assess risk assessment and get a much more realistic space exposure scenario when you talk about a mission to Mars, for example, that would take two to three years. Instead of trying to take a leap of faith and piece different segments of data together to try to see what the overall situation would be during actual space travel, we can now perform those experiments directly.